Super Smash Bros. Brawl is finally here and it's definitely worth the wait. With more features in Melee and the first Super Smash combined, Brawl is no doubt the best in the series. To some, it might even be considered to be the best fighting or even best Wii game out today. Uh, so let me get started by saying that although Brawl is very similar to the previous Smash games, the controls are definitely tighter, the graphics are amazing, and the entire presentation to Brawl sets the bar so high that I have no idea what to expect if Nintendo ever makes another Smash Brothers game. So what's new? More characters to choose from such as Sonic and Snake, more interesting level designs, the new single player mode, as well as a ton of other features that I'll get into later. For the new characters, you'll definitely learn to master them one by one, as with the previous games. They each have their own smash attacks, grabs, and punches, but now you'll have the ability to perform final smashes, which are the character's special attacks that usually knock off your opponents. You can perform these by hitting the smash balls that appear and float around the screen. They are extremely helpful if you need a quick kill. As some of you have seen, there's a new single player mode called the Subspace Emissary. Basically, you take control of each character and go through a level killing weird monsters or objects that are in your path. It's sort of like a platformer with brawl controls, but honestly, the Subspace Emissary is okay the first time, since you can see a whole history of Nintendo fan service, but it ultimately comes down to fun, and this mode is just alright. Nothing really exciting, just more brawl action. The main mode is, of course, the multiplayer brawl matches. They are pretty much the same as with Melee, where you can choose time or stock matches and control what items appear, but there are also different rules you can set such as gravity and the speed of the match, and one of the major inclusions is a new stage builder mode, where you can create your own stages. Now my friends like levels that are unique and sort of weird, so we created a giant box with some holes on top and a ladder, and when you put four players together like that, players can go flying, it's pretty fun. It's definitely fun to try and experiment, and the game gives you plenty of items and structures to build with. Uh, the final thing I wanted to talk about is the online multiplayer mode. Now you can play with people around the world, or just with friends. Now in the video I'm capturing the Japanese version, but from what I've played with the North American version, online pretty much works well as long as you both have a good enough connection. The matchmaking isn't as intuitive as Xbox Live, but Nintendo has finally stepped into something great. Super Smash Bros. Brawl creates a sense of completeness and so much awesomeness that you just need to buy this game if you have a Wii. I can't say much more except that this game is one of the best multiplayer experiences I have ever had. Even if you never play the single player mode, it is still 100% worth it. We give Super Smash Bros. Brawl a 10 out of 10.